So the yacht I'm looking at today has had quite a hefty grounding. Uh, you can see the front of the keel here has had a good thwack. There's lots of corrosion on it. We believe the grounding's been done in the last uh, 18 months or so. The uh, hull to keel joint is in quite poor condition and someone has in the past attempted to fill that by using a, a mastic seal which hasn't worked. But if you look down here and follow the plane line to the hull, can you see how at about there, how the hull drops, drops down where it sags and we've had a load of support put in to try and help support the, the rear end of the boat because basically all the uh, internal pan moulding has let go uh, and there's quite significant fractures all the way in and I think probably that angle there you can see how much the hull is sagging up um, from the failure of the internal matrix and so we've got all these chocks and blocks in the way just come around the back here. What's quite extraordinary in this case is the fact that the laminate hasn't really delaminated particularly much. You can hear, you can tap it with the old father's hammer, that it actually all sounds pretty good. Which is quite encouraging and quite surprising. However, when I think the cue's taken off, there is delamination in round the corners here where it's, uh, it's the fracture lines have run off on either side there. So it will be an interesting one when we get the keel off to see what's going on underneath. I'm going to pop you upstairs and just show you internally how much the, uh, the matrix has failed. So in here we've got the typical internal matrix that holds and supports the, the vessel structure and the keel arrangements. You can see these keel studs are mild steel or high tensile steel quite corroded. But more importantly, can you start to see the fractures? There's been some previous repairs here, a bit of gel coating here and there, which have done absolutely nothing to help preserve the damage. Here we've got uh, the frame has actually pushed. This, this area is just a pan flash moulding but these areas here are literally torn right across there's more of the structure over here that's fractured probably not so easy to see but you can see that's quite a deep fracture going in there go forward one frame again completely fractured across going forward again without being too boring sorry drop the camera <laughs> uh, as you, can, as you well know, probably a better surveyor than I'm a photographer. But you can see that and look at the state of the corrosion on those studs. And then here is the compression post going up here. You can see there are some light gel coat crazing there. And again, we've got similar fracturing on the foot of the compression post. Now, a lot of people, when they have a grounding, don't even think of the compression post. And what's interesting in this case is where the deck fitting is. I've actually found some delamination there. What's more surprising is when I look aft and I set my camera down, you can actually see the boat is hogging. So hogging is where it's sort of hanging over the keel. Hopefully you can see how everything is got a slight curvature on it. Um, I think you can see the buckling in this pan. And extraordinary, it's also going into the aft cabin as well. One of the um, things I've written about in the past is always a good clue is uh, the fitting around the seacock where where the pace would be this is completely detached but again you can see quite spectacularly if i put it down there how much this is all twisted and, and moved so there we are another interesting job just another keel job another day at the office as i call it but um you know, this is going to have to have a substantial repair to actually deal with the issues uh, we've identified. You can see that one's completely twisted up as well. So quite a lot to do. Right, as always, I hope you found that interesting. Please feel free to share. What I will explain to you probably is the, um, the repair of this 
there's two options in my view. One is to cut the complete matrix out and refit it and glass it back in. Or the other option is to cut uh, down either side of these, take all the gel coat off and re-laminate in place, but glass the feet in and then glass over. But I mean, I've seen here, the moisture levels in this boat internally are not good. You can actually see there's blistering here. 